It is the job of industrial bridge painters to repair the most iconic bridges in the U.S. The Delaware River Port Authority serves as steward of four bridges that cross the Delaware River between Pennsylvania and New Jersey. In 2015, the Benjamin Franklin, Betsy Ross, Commodore Berry, and the Walt Whitman carried more than 98.4 million vehicles across their bridges. Keeping these bridges in tip-top shape through state-of-the-art repairs is crucial to the drivers and commercial industry across the region. But it's no surprise that over time, the impact of vehicular traffic and weather can degrade the integrity of the infrastructure. To reverse the wear and tear, highly skilled teams of industrial painters get to work to combat rust, corrosion, and other structural threats to our bridges. This process can take weeks as they bring hundreds of thousands of square feet of platform decking, specialized recycling equipment, trucks, compressors, and trailers. Next up, the crew will build platforms which will form the basis of the containment. The first step requires the placement of safety cables, heavy metal plates, and steel cables to span the bottom of the bridge. A team of riggers fastens decking and fencing onto the cables. The decking and fencing are where bridge painters will stand to sandblast and repaint the steel. Now they can build the containment area, an OSHA requirement where the de-leading and sandblasting takes place in an enclosed but ventilated area. Tarps are lifted into place with ropes and pulleys. With the work area enclosed, large dust collectors are placed near the containment. Industrial steel grit recycling units are arranged. Air compressors are parked near the recycling machines to provide power needed to remove corroded paint and dust. The industrial painters can now begin sealing the work area, and then it's on to cleaning and painting the bridge. Bridge painters first pressure wash the steel to remove bird droppings and salt from the roadway. Sandblasters dressed in protective outfits are tasked with removing the existing paint and rust from the bridge, leaving only clean steel. Vacuumers are on deck below, cleaning up spent steel grit and lead paint, which is sent to a recycling machine, which separates the steel grit and the lead paint. The grit is reused by the blasters. The lead paint is collected and properly disposed of to protect the environment. Once the steel is cleaned, inspectors check the blasted surface for cleanliness. Any steel that is too far corroded must be repaired or in some cases replaced by iron workers. The bridge painters can begin spraying paint primer. Several layers of specialized paint coatings are applied to protect the steel from the elements. Painting the bridge is the most straightforward part of the job. It's everything that comes before it. That's the hard part. Once the paint's applied, inspectors check for proper coating and thickness. After inspectors have approved everything, including touch-ups, the entire setup must come down. Tarps are dropped. Outriggers, cables, and platforms are removed. The bridge is now restored, all with minimal interruption to the daily flow of traffic. Maintaining these bridges is vital to keeping transportation moving in the greater Philadelphia area.